Wait, is this new drama? Is this like fresh off of the slate or whatever? Okay, the TLDR is Rin Static Kick the Healer. Please do not send hate towards anyone because of this video. I want to clarify that Rin joined this static as one of the replacements on week two or three, and many of the issues I talked about were present before he joined us. I mentioned Rin a lot in this video because he was prevalent in the last conversation I had with this group, which was still fresh in my mind. Lastly, I want to say thank you for all the kind words and support you've sent me in the comments, DMs, and in-game. I read every message and it really means a lot to me. Okay, who is DICE? DICE is a terrible player. They live in their own world when they're doing whatever. Well, you said it yourself, it's better to play with friends. Eh, I disagree with that. It depends on the goal of the group. Like, I have some friends that are fucking awful at this game. I would never play with them in a serious environment. I love them to death, but I would never play with them in a serious environment. That's just how it is, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get shit done. I ain't calling you. <laughs> I ain't asking you. <laughs> really sucks to be kicked out, especially over something unfair. Okay, let's just watch the. Let's just watch it. Hey guys, just wanted to talk today about some of the Final Fantasy XIV elitism and ableism that I've experienced, the higher levels of the rating community. And to start off, I'll just explain like who, who I am. If you don't know who I am, I'm Wave, and I was Hi, a Wave. healer for a high-end static called Protocol Pals. We have a lot of experienced players, people who have played the game for multiple years since A Realm Reborn, since Heaven's Ward. People like Rin Cargon. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. All right, dude. All right, I'm sorry, but I gotta do this, dude. I'm sorry, but it needs to be done. First off, why in the fuck is this here? Why is the HP right here? This doesn't make any sense, dude. And what the fuck is this doing here? It's like there were positions on a dartboard of where to put your shit, and you just randomly ch chuck some darts. Dude, look at this blank, empty fucking area right here, man. You know? And then what is this? And what is over here? I mean, I guess this is okay. Now, you know what? You know what? Hold on. That's okay. But dude, what in the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> put that and that and this and this and put all of this, okay, down here. No bully. <laughs> okay, all right. No, 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 no. UI is very personal, very, very personal preference. I get it. I get it. Okay, very personal. I was just curious, you know. Funny. All right. Uh, people like Saya. Hey, and Raina. Thank you for the reset. This reset. static was yogurt one of the and worst Amar, experiences you I've well. ever had in raiding. We spent over the course of three weeks. We probably trialed or replaced over ten people. Okay, that's pretty bad. Many of which were doing very quite well. I had one co-healer who, who I thought was doing very well. Maybe not very well, they were doing well. They were not holding us back, I don't think. But the logs were not up to par. The logs were inspected and the logs were not up to par, so that co-healer was replaced. Well, yeah. And this is what I'm going to talk about today. Is final. Okay, so I can understand to a certain extent, right? I feel like if you trial someone and they perform well, but their logs are like, you know, I don't know, like blue, purple, you know, I think that's okay. And the reason why is because you can still have high damage and get like, I don't know, like a blue or a green or some shit. I guess you have to take it on a case by case basis and, and you have to really, really like dig into it because if you look on our top clear from today, for example, one of our guys got a gray, but we killed the boss ridiculously fast and the reason why he got a gray wasn't because he's bad it was because he's a bro and he held damage so that other people could build gauge let's say that that guy went and applied to a group and they didn't allow him because of that gray that would be a huge mistake he's an amazing player so amazing in fact that he made other people better by holding <laughs> so that would be a huge mistake not to take that player now i now i'm not saying that that case applies to this i'm just saying that the parse it does and tell the whole story. I found this for 14 elitism and how people in this game at the higher levels are way too focused on this on, the, on, on these logs and on this type of thing. So and I, I want to talk about how difficult it is to play with these type of people when, when you yourself are trying to learn the game. When, well, when you yourself are not. Okay, 
I mean, look, guys, if you're trying to learn the game, then you have no business trying to play in like a, you know, like an experienced group. You're not experienced. Like, I mean, I'm not trying to like, you know, argue with this person's point or anything. I haven't even heard anything. I'm just like, you know, as he brings up points, I'm, I've given my opinion, basically. I feel like that if you're learning the game, then you have no business raiding with really experienced players. And I don't say that in a mean way. I say that in a nice way because you're just going to drag down seven other people. It's not necessarily because you suck. It's just because you're new. Everyone is new at some point in their life. If these experienced players accept that, then that's fine. But as a new player, you can't complain that the experienced players don't want you in there because you're new. Because I can tell you right now, I am not raiding with a new player. I'm not. Like, I'm not going to do hardcore serious prog with a fucking new player. It ain't going to happen, man. It's not. I don't trust you. You're probably going to hold me back and you suck. I mean, it is what it is, you know? I mean, maybe in like a year, you know, six months, a year after you get some experience, after you're able to raid for like 15 hours. Guys, I'm not talking about just party finder stuff, okay? Okay, I'm talking about first clear prog groups. Okay, I don't care, dude. Outside of that, I don't care how new you are. Like, dude, if you're in the party finder and it's literally your first time, I don't care. I'm talking about brand new content, server up, hardcore shit. A player with two years, three years, five years of experience have not been playing since Heaven's Ward, since have not been playing since Rome Reborn. That's what I want to talk about. So, okay. start off with my experience on P5. And. This experience, my co-healer and I got into a bit of an argument because they kept spamming the GCD heal and losing all of their mana. So I kept telling them, like, hey, I told them like twice, hey, huh. um, you can stop GCD healing here or do it, GCD heal, heal here less. Um, and then they went back and looked at my logs and said, no, you need the GCD heal more. And in this mechanic, this is P5. Now I will go and show you the logs. Oh shit, bringing up the logs. These got the receipts. These are the logs from one of our polls. Oh my god, got the receipts. Let's see if I can find this. Dude, this motherfucker is always surrounded by drama. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Okay. So, in these logs, I was not used to healing during the downtime mechanic. Because I was focused on the mechanic to try and learn the mechanic. Because it's a, it's P5, it's the farthest fight we've been, it's the farthest phase we've been in the fight. And I'm trying my best to not cause us to wipe. So I'm, you know, maybe that is an issue. As a healer, I should be GCD healing. But instead of GCD healing, which causes me to, to stand still, have to try to slide cast, have to use focus, I just try to plan out my off globals and put them down. Like the earthly star that hits the whole room. If I miss someone... This is like... I can't really take a side because I wasn't there. You know what I mean? And this is just one person's perspective. Like, it's not from the other person's perspective. You know what I'm saying? My GCD heal, I have to spot heal him. Can I miss someone with the star? No, I can't. Macrocosmos? I can't miss anyone with Macrocosmos. I'm also now, like... what was going on. My co-healer here was just spamming GCD heals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oof. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Doing... All right, all right, all right. That doesn't, that doesn't look very... This doesn't look right, spamming this many fucking heals, man. Holy fuck, this is a lot. I don't think there's a single mechanic in the game that requires this this many amount of heals in a row. Maybe there is, maybe I'm just bad, but holy fuck, that's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? And I was doing, like, macro, star, you know, celestial opposition. I had a Lady of Crowns here, got lucky this pull. Sometimes you get those. And to get to the point, you know, aside from all these, like, funny numbers and stuff, We had a... My, okay, to get to the point, it became... For having like 2,000 more like HPS or whatever, like, well, almost three, I guess. Only 8% overheal is like... I would expect this to be a lot more overheal. You know what I mean? A log investigation. And, and people started to pile on. And we got to this... We got to this part where I had said one thing. Like, I had told the healer, I was... I, was, I, I told my co-healer, like, hey... You can stop GCD healing here. You can do less GCD heals because you're losing all your mana. I will show you a clip because this is what was going on. This is from Rin's stream. It's not my stream. I, I was not recording this day. I was not streaming this day. So from Rin's stream, you'll see what was going on. If you look at Dice's mana. Now already Dice's mana was very low. Because And this was from issues with previous phases. The, the, I, I, this was... I'm not sure why, if I'm being completely honest. 
um, maybe they were GCD healing too much for mechanics, and I kept, I did tell them, on the second day, because I played with three different co-healers in this static, and on the second day that DICE joined as, as co-healer, I said to DICE, hey, you can do less GCD shields if you want, we just might need to communicate a little bit more about mitts and heals, and they were like, no, it's fine, I'll just do it for safety, I'm like, okay, for safety, that's good, you can do that, and, and that's, you know, maybe they were not managing their mana correctly, but, the, or maybe it was just too much GCD shields, but this is what, what we're at, okay, so DICE has 37,000 mana here, but the big kicker, the big issue, like this is okay. This is an okay amount of mana. It's not, it's not, it's not great. But for a downtime phase, this is an okay amount of mana. Because now what's going to happen is you should just keep getting up. See, thirty-nine thousand. But boom, thirty-two thousand. Look, this is, is what was driving me crazy. Thirty-two thousand mana. What? Watch it again. Look at the mana. Twenty-five thousand. <laughs> it keeps going down. <laughs> What is he we're healing? Not taking any damage? Nothing is happening. What is it? Why does he mana. keep healing? Uh, Two thousand five hundred mana. Twelve hundred mana. Holy moly! The mana just keeps going down. That's like two. That's 200, like two hundred two thousand mana. And, and you want to know why? Okay, let's keep watching. So here we finally take a damage, but we still have shields. We have macro, we have horoscope, and we have neutral sect, and we still have shields on us. Okay. okay? Dude, look at his. <laughs> still has yeah. So yeah, look at his mana, bro. What the fuck, dude? Okay. We're not in danger here. All right. But look, the mana. Like, he keeps casting heals here. 1,300 mana. 1,500. 500. Now, my co-healer has drained all of their mana at a point in the fight where we have not taken a single instance of damage. Yeah, that's We have not crazy. dropped from full HP, ever. In the past, like, 15 seconds, we have not dropped from full HP, and my co-healer has drained all of their mana. 500 mana. Come on, man. 100 mana, here. and we still have barely dropped from full HP. Now, Come this, on, like, applying shields heal. here is good. I think this is a spot where it's good to apply Dude, shields. Dude, he literally here. has like, like one. Mana, other other like shields one broke. You should re reapply the shields. It helps protect from the stack damage. But the point is, like that would be one GCD shield. Not that's not four thousand mana worth of GCD shielding. Like the amount of mana that they just spent is insane. Any healer could look at this and tell you that this is not right. The healer should not be doing this. And I you mean, want to know why they're doing this? And I didn't understand it at first either. Like, I had no idea what was going on. So I talked to multiple healers who I knew who actually had experience in this game. And they told me, yeah, that's active uptime. That's a funny number, active uptime, you know, elitism uh, strat. Like, to get your, your, your number as high as possible. And I'm like, why? Why do they want active uptime in this downtime phase? It's the most dumb thing I ever saw. And, and they're just like, yeah, some people are like that. So I tried Wait. To, to ask. Wait, hold on. Healers actually do that? What? Oh, not intelligent. Okay, okay. No, like, dude, I'm, dude, I'm over here. Okay, I'm an amateur healer. You know, I'm just your average, you know, savage healer. I mean, I've healed some of the ultimates too, right? I've healed T. I've healed Yukov, and I've healed Uwu. I haven't healed DSR, and I'm never healing top. So, although I don't know, top doesn't seem that bad actually to heal anyway. But I don't know. I mean, what do I know, dude? You know. But anyway, yeah. When I heal, I don't spam heals for active uptime. That doesn't make any sense. Dice here, my co healer. No, to stop so doing this. And basically, they got so angry that they, first of all, they were not in voice chat the entire time. I, I, I sent one message in the text chat. They got so angry, they left the Discord, and they said either, and, and they basically told the static leader that it, it's me or him who, who's going to stay in the static. Dang. Well, you know, DICE has been a longtime friend of the static leader. DICE was, was originally a member, and they had cleared other stuff together. So I just joined the static two weeks ago. And so, unfortunately, the static leader had to message me and tell me, like, yeah, we're going to keep dice and you're out. And Holy shit. I mean, and that it's one of those things, man. It's one of those things where to us, you know, we're not in the group. I don't necessarily think that this is elitism. I just think that this is a friend wanting to raid with their friend. I think elitism is something different. I, I think that this is just favoritism. There are some groups, there are some statics that I've helped in the past that they have like an insanely like weak member, but the group, they care more about the friendship and playing with the same players than they do about skill. And if that's the case, then that's okay. Okay. Here's the thing. Each group is like run by a different set of rules. And I don't necessarily think that if you choose friends over skill, that's bad. I just think that a person in this player's position, it's going to fuck them over. But ultimately, it's up to the group's decision, right? And now while I like, I would never join a group that's going to put like friends over skill. Just because I wouldn't do that doesn't mean that it's necessarily wrong. I don't, it's not right either. It's just kind of one of those things where that's just the goal of the 
group. It's just one of those things where it's just unfortunate. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of like rating with couples that can't separate rating and like their relationship. Right. So whenever you like piss one of them off, you piss both of them off kind of thing. It's kind of like that, but not in a relationship, but in a friendship. You know what I'm saying? It feels awful, but that's not even the biggest problem because after this, we try to have a discussion and maybe I do not communicate in the right, in the correct way. Because I started to feel a bit defensive. Because I started to feel like I am the one being being attacked. I am the because what, like at a certain point in this, I start to feel like I am the one who has to defend myself. I have to point out like, hey, I'm healing as much as I can here. I'm doing as many heals as I can. I am trying my best to do as many heals as I can. I can almost do most of the healing in this phase. Like I don't think my co-healer should just AFK and not heal, but I am trying my best. That's what I started to do in this conversation, in this communication. And this was not with Dice, because Dice was gone. I was trying to communicate. There was a certain point in this conversation when I wanted to just leave the voice chat. I wanted to leave the Discord server, and I wanted to never talk to these people again. But I stayed, because I wanted to try to make it work. I wanted to communicate. So I stayed, and I was like, here's my healing rotation. Here's what I'm doing. Here's how I'm trying to heal this phase. And, you know, if Dice was there, my co-healer was there, we could try to communicate with each other. But, like, after three messages, I, I, I spoke to Dice for no more than, like, three messages over the past two days. Um, we, we had to have some... Because Dice is unwilling to talk to me, so we had some mediated conversation with the, the raid leader. It was very weird. Um, but we got to a certain point in this discussion that I was having with Rin. Where Rin's like, no, you're straining your co-healer. You are forcing your co-healer to have zero what? mana here. You are not healing enough. Oh, was, was Dice one of the greens? No. Oh my Why fucking god. god. Probably because you're trying to play like you're parsing the fight instead of progging it. I'm not. Listen, you should never complain about overhealing in a fight until we well, die to that... damage, ever, ever. Literally 0% of the time should you ever complain about that. I'm not complaining about it. It's just that they seem to be upset about the fact that they're healing because they're like, I'm I'm healing the mech. I'm like, okay, if that's what they want to do, they can do that. If they don't want to do that, they don't have to do that because I'm doing enough heals on my own. They, they basically are, solo they are healer. healing. A, no, they're, they're the ones solo healing. You have like no GCDs and P3 and stuff. They're like straining themselves, dude. Have you looked back no. and taken a look at what they're doing? Yeah, I think but... right now, right now, I think maybe you're getting a little offended. It sucks to offended. be told you're not doing something that you should be. But this entire time, every day, there's been a problem where you're kind of going from a we don't need to do X standpoint when it should be do more and reel it back after rather than trying to optimize pixel perfect GCD heals because we're ahead of every check anyways. Right. So like I'm not. You should it's be thankful that DICE mechanic. is playing the way they are. Right, which is why you should literally never say don't heal. But okay, you just I don't, I don't mind if they heal because the point is I am solo healing the mechanic. So if they don't want to heal because it's frustrating for them, they don't have to. So if they are frustrated, then that's on them. Because it's completely up to them whether they choose to heal or not choose to heal. You need to take a step back and calm down. I'm not frustrated. It feels you are like literally you are yelling. Frustrated. You are literally yelling. And... Like your co healer just left, so which one of us is upset right now? Bro, I don't see why I'm being antagonized here. Like, because if they you're don't telling heal... somebody not to do what they're doing and they're trying to ensure we don't die to damage, and that shouldn't be a problem. That there should literally be zero issue with that. But you're taking issue with it. You're creating okay. a problem out of something that isn't. I don't have any issues with them choosing to heal, but I literally told them if they are frustrated by the fact that they are healing, then they don't have to heal because I am doing enough heals on my own to solo heal the mechanic yeah it's it's the the way you go about it is entirely wrong like just read the three words you just wrote that sounds like a complete asshole and dick read movie the, right read the words that they are writing they make it sound like a well because they they're, no, they're, saying... they're trying to rebuttal to what's going on in the conversation it's it's the thing is is the texting is always going to be slower than verbal they're trying to respond to exactly what's going on in the conversation. They couldn't use their microphone for a certain reason. They're trying to respond to what's going on in the conversation, but they're having to type at the same rate we're speaking. And that's insanely hard to do. So instead of just responding, then don't lol, when we're trying to address to like address an issue, that's just not, it's uncalled for. It's, you, that's not a kind of comment you drop to uh, when people are trying to discuss no, stuff. Like, they're, they're saying no, because I'm fucking healing the entire mech. That's what they're saying, not me. They said no because I'm fucking healing the entire mech. That, when I read that, sounds like a very aggressive statement towards me because they sound very frustrated. That's what it sounds like to me. So that's why because, I told them. Because well, they are frustrated because every single day you tell them just not heal things. And then yesterday we died to damage. And yes, that was because you chose to take something away. But it's again because you're optimizing your heals to give the bare minimum. And you shouldn't be. You should be over healing. That's how prog works. 
your co healer is doing like two, three GCDs in an Ixical, and they are not healing enough. And you I don't know, man. If they do this during downtime, bruh, I'm not saying that they always did it, right? But I mean, <laughs> like, maybe they just did it. See, see, this is like really hard to, to like, well, me, I mean, you guys might know information, but me, I can't really choose a side. You know, like, I don't know if this guy's right, if this guy's wrong, if, you know, but what I can say is that this person spamming heals during downtime when no damage, that's that's just objectively wrong, right? Like that's just wrong. That's bad, you know? And I mean, even as an average healer myself, I know that that's wrong. Like, why the fuck would you do that? Like you would look, okay, everyone's top. Everyone has a shield. Okay. I'm just going to not do anything. You're right. Like I'm not going to heal anymore. You were straining them. And I'm, I'm just sitting there in the moment. I'm thinking to myself, like three GCD heals. That is not the full mana pool, but you know, it's written card on it. Like, what can I say to the man? You know, I, I mean, you can in, tell in him to go I'm fuck off, dude. What do you mean? What can you say to the man? Tell him to go fuck himself. What do you mean? <laughs> What do you mean? Like, because he's a streamer? Dude, people can tell me to fuck off too. It is what it is. Like, just because we're a st streamers doesn't mean anything. <laughs> streamers can be wrong. I'm stressed, so I just keep defending myself. I just keep saying, like, this is my healing rotation. This is what healing I am doing. Uh, you guys no, tell me to I fuck off all the time. Bring myself to be like, hey, no. That that three is not, that three GCs is not the full mana pool. I should have said that. I should have. But, like, these are players who, who have played for longer than I have. Maybe they know more than I do, but... You know, until I spoke with other healers and they were like, no, that's not right. That's when I gained the confidence to come out and say this. So, let's take a breath. Here, here, here's... Take a breath. Take a breath, some, brother. Some points of the conversation. Some things that were said. There's a point where, where Rin says, like, I am straining my co-healer here. Because they are having the GCD heal so much that I'm straining them. And, and... And honestly, no. I'm the one who feels strained here. Like when I see my co-healer doing this, when I see my co-healer at zero mana in this phase because they just spammed seven GCD heals at a time when no healing was needed, I'm the one who feels strained. I'm the one who feels like I have to plan my healing so well that I can heal all of this without their mana. And and that's like, I'm the one who feels strained here. Like, how can you tell me it's ever okay to sit here at 4,000 mana? Like, this is already an issue. And yeah, like that's I said, scuff, I try dude. to communicate and have them use less GCD heals. So I'm not sure if they are not managing their lucid dreaming correctly, if they're not managing their Adder's Gall correctly. Dude, that's scuff. gives you mana when you play it. That's a very important Sage mechanic. I played Sage. Using your Adder's Gall is a very, very important Sage mechanic to give you your mana back. And if you're overcapping on that, then you're not going to have mana. If you're playing without piety and you're playing at the highest level of the game. So I tried to communicate with the Sage and tell him, like, you can GCD heal less on the previous phases. We just need to have a little bit of communication for heals and for mitts. And they're like, no, it's fine for safety. And so I'm like, okay, but that's fine. Like, you can safety heal and GCD heal everything and have 4,500 mana here. But the moment you get to this phase, you have to actually stop healing. Like, you cannot be spamming this for active uptime. Or you're going to have zero mana. Like, the mana, it just keeps going down. How can you ever tell me this is okay to watch <laughs> Dude, this mana sit here bad, and bro. get drained while nothing is happening? Keeps going down. How can anyone tell me down, that this is an okay thing to see? And down. Dude, it's like the countdown on so, New Year's Eve, dude. Again, sorry, Ten, I'm not shouting. Nine, you know, I, I, I'm a passionate eight, person. I, I, I get like this. I'm not angry at anyone. Or, I mean, I am a bit frustrated, actually. Yeah. Because this is this is not okay. And because I'm in this moment, like, being gaslit. Because it it, in this moment, in this conversation that I have after this poll, they, I feel like I'm the one to blame. Like, I'm the one causing them to have zero mana because that's what they keep telling me. They keep telling me that I am well, the one. Well, okay, like I know you guys are like, okay, like I know you guys are like making fun of this person, like gonna cry and shit. But I mean, put yourself in their in their position, right? They have like multiple people telling them that they're wrong when they're not wrong. You know what I mean? It could be very frustrating. Them to have zero mana, that I am not healing enough, and and that all of my my healing planning is not enough, and that yes, I I am not. If you look at the logs, yes, I, I do not cast GCD heals because. I'm focused on the mechanic, and because it's hard for me to, to think about doing GCD heals in the moment, to slide cast them as a, as an Astro who doesn't have mobility. So I have like one swift cast GCD heal. In, in what I'm trying. I mean, to do. the thing is, in this vod, everyone is topped and shielded. It's just this guy just keeps fucking healing. The person that made this video is like trying to be, I don't know, I guess self-conscious about not healing because he's focusing on the mechanics. But the thing is, is like in this video, everyone's full HP and shielded. And so. Yes, I should be doing more. I should be. I'm not going to say I'm a perfect player. In this poll, actually, I messed up my entire healing rotation. I made a lot of mistakes. I messed up my healing rotation on this poll. You know, it happens. But I'm like, not a I'm healer, not a perfect, man, so what do I know? I'm not the best healer in the game. I make mistakes. I'm still learning and trying to do my best, but... It feels like, um... I tried to, to point something out, and everyone started to tell me that I was wrong, and that I was, was, was making mistakes. 
and they started to go into the logs and, and look at the logs and bring up like off tangent points that did not have anything to do with the the, the point like they, they looked at the logs and were like oh you only have this many casts of this ability and i said well, well yeah that's so had... stupid you only have this many casts of this ability that's dumb because like sometimes you just don't use shit depending on how your tanks mit shit like sometimes you lose an activation of like shadow wall there's not like a rule where you always have to use something you know or like you're bad no that's not it at all because sometimes it does happen where you just literally don't use it because you don't fucking need it based on either strategy or incoming damage more cast ability but then like, my co healer started to heal so much that I didn't need to use it anymore, so I just stopped using it. And I tried to tell them, like, they could stop healing in these spots, but uh, they said it was fine for safety, so I just, like, okay, for full HP, why am I gonna cast this ability? So, yeah, I only have so many casts of Celestial Opposition. I used to have, like, seven casts of Celestial Opposition, now I have four, because my co healer is just healing everything. And I, when I tried to talk to them, they said it was fine for safety. Like, if the mana is an issue, that's something that needs to be communicated. Instead, what ends up happening is, is these guys, like, keep saying these things. To that and i start to believe them like they keep saying things that were not factually proven like he says three gcds is the full mana pool and that is straining my co-healer and, and first of all as a stage player i know that that three gcds sh is not should not be straining the co-healer like casting three gcds casting an exical that's fine like that's a normal thing to do casting eight gcd heals here in the logs to make it look like you were the one solo healing the mechanic is just not right because that's what ends up happening. Just Wait! Dice cast all these oh my god, is yo, that could be a thing. You could like you could spam heal to make your other healer like look bad or something, right? I never even thought about doing that. Like I never even thought someone could do that. Holy fuck, really? People do that? Okay. GCD heals and then shows the logs to people and says, like, look at how many GCD heals I'm casting. I am doing everything in this mechanic. But if you actually look at the numbers here, I was healing more than dice for this pull. In these numbers, I was doing more healing, and you look at where the healing comes in this is my healing okay i do like one gcd heal two gcd heal and then i do a bunch of off globals i don't gcd heal here because i'm doing all of these off globals because i'm I, I i've tried to plan my off globals to actually be useful and like dice is not doing any off globals except an ixical you know no no mitigations like the, the care call here is for the raid wide beforehand and they're just doing gcd heals here and, and this is the healing that they put out almost 10k this is the healing that i am putting out here 20k okay so like, I know, I know, I'm getting into the small details, this was not what I entirely wanted to talk about. Was the small details of this argument, this drama, no. What I wanted to talk about was how it made me felt. Um, because, at the end of it, like... So I'm in no position to take a side. But just based on this clip, this guy's a fucking idiot. This guy healed, like, three times over what they needed to before the damage even happened. And now that they are low, they have no mana. Yeah, so it's like everybody was topped, and then they healed three extra times when they didn't need to at all. Like, it was 100% wasted. And now when they, they need to heal, they don't have any mana. What? Of it, I felt awful. You now, know, okay, keep this like, in mind, like, right? Maybe this is a prog clip or something. Maybe they fucked up. You know, this is only one sample. Like I said, that's why, like, I'm not gonna take everything at face value. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm sure there's more to it. Like, maybe this guy is being nice on video, but he was like a total in DMs or something. You know, I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm just saying I don't know. That's all I'm trying to say is that I don't know. Trying to take a side on like this video or whatever is, it's like almost impossible for me one stra straining the, my cochlear i was the one not healing enough i was the one who was messing up and and um telling my cochlear to do fewer gc heals to save their mana i was in the wrong there because they needed to do those gc heals because i was not healing enough that's what they kept telling me and i thought dude i think it's funny that right when i start watching all this drama shit my fucking viewers double <laughs> you guys are so thirsty for this shit dude you should feel bad we live for drama felt awful i felt like hey maybe i'm wrong maybe the things that i am seeing Maybe I, I'm wrong. Maybe, you know, I've only played this game a while. I'm new to this game. I I started playing this game July of last year, and I started raiding. You know, I, it took me half a year to do MSQ. I enjoyed MSQ. I loved MSQ. But Yo. I started raiding Yo. in Endwalk. Yo. Half a year to do MSQ? Yo, I'll believe it. I'll believe it, brother. <laughs> Yeah, I'll believe that. Of all the things in this video, I'll fucking believe that. Half a year? for um, Asphodelos, and then Dragon Song, and then Abyssos, mm -hmm. and now here at top. I haven't done the older content. I don't have the experience on it. I'm basically a new, fresh raider to this this expansion. 
And it just feels awful to hear all these these experienced players. Like Rin Karagane is the guy I watched on the Uwu video. You know the Uwu guide? He's on that video. The the Tess and Twin Tails guide. You know, it feels awful to hear these, these people like tell me that I'm wrong, that I'm the one not doing enough. When I feel like man, when I, I these man, models, I, I felt see what's happening. I'm like, wait, no. But I felt bad, man, because uh, I've known Tessin for a really long time. They've made me some stuff, too. I feel bad because Tessin asked me to narrate one of the phases, man. And uh, I really wanted to, but at the time, uh, at the time, I was so fucking busy, man. I literally just couldn't find time. I always felt bad about that. Anyway, yeah, sorry. But 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 no, but look at what is happening here. They make really and, good, and, like, visuals. And then it's like, wait, am I, am I in the wrong here? Am I, is there something I don't know here? Like, should the healer really be draining their mana at this point in the fight? Like why should the, why should my co healer have zero mana here, when they could be regenerating the mana? They could have like five thousand mana here because the mana ticks up. They start to regenerate it during the downtime. They could have half their mana. I have six thousand mana myself. Like, but here they they just keep draining it and they have zero mana. Like is that? You know, and I started to think like, hey, maybe maybe I am wrong here. And then, um, at the end of it, I got a message that like the the communication just wasn't there. And you know, because uh, Dice didn't want to heal with me, and it was either Dice or me, and Dice was friends, and I, I'm out of the group and. That was really unfortunate, and it felt really bad, but I felt more so bad about this whole conversation that I had with them. So I had to go and talk to two healers that I knew that had played this game for a while, and I sent them the, blo the logs, and I talked to them, and they, they told me, like, yeah, man, you're doing the best you can. Um, and, and if they kick you for that, then honestly, you know, that that's on them. Um, and and I, I felt so bad that day that I, I, I started to cry in voice chat with one of my friends. Oh, it feels bad. I just felt like I, I, I wasn't good enough, and I... I, you know, was awful at the game, and I just got kicked from my static, and felt like I didn't want to raid anymore, because all, all, you know, like, they started to go in and look at every single GCD, every single, um, off-global cooldown usage that I had in my logs. And this is the problem with, with Final Fantasy XIV Elitism, and not just me, but the other people in this static who got replaced before me. Because they were also, their logs were also looked at, you know, they were also, like, micro... zoomed in, microscopic, you know, the, 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 the telescope came out, and they looked at every single GCD in the logs, and I'm like, like, why? You know, how many, every single usage of how many usages they had of each ability. I, okay, okay. I just don't think that this is elitism. I think this is just favoritism. I understand what they're saying. I think they're just using the wrong word. It's like elitism is just a little bit different. Like if this was elitism, then the other healer would have been kicked. <laughs> For sure. The other healer would have been kicked. This is not elitism. This is, this is like favoritism. I think this is just a case of like, it's a group full of like, I don't know, maybe four or five people that are just friends and they don't care what the non-friends, it's like a very clicky, you know what I mean? They don't really care what the non-friends have to say, even if they're right, because the friends will always value like the friendship over like, I guess, truth. I don't know. But I will agree. Like, I, I, I do think that you should log review. Absolutely. I think that if a person is like, it's either him or me, you know, actually, that's kind of a shitty friend thing to do as well. Like, so you tell your friend it's either him or me. That means that you don't really care about your friend's friendship. Like, that's a shitty thing. Like, I would never say that to one of my friends. I don't know, man. That's just weird. But then again, I guess I'm not. I, I don't know. Like, I would never. I don't like I don't think I'd ever say that in general. You got to be careful in this game, man, because joining like statics, man, like if they have like, you know, like long term friends or if they have couples or whatever, man, you got to know what you're getting into. My advice, if you're trying to find a static, don't raid with people that can't separate a raid mentality from a casual mentality, like, or a friend mentality. Because, like, the thing is, is I know you don't want to argue with your friends, right? Like, I know you don't want to. But, like, Arthur's is one of my best friends. And there's been times where me and him have, like, disagreed, right? Like, we've got into an argument. Like, we've disagreed. I've been wrong. He's been wrong. And you just get over it. You know, you just say your friend, my bad, man, I'm sorry. And your friend is going to be like, yeah. It's fine, man. You know, no problem. You need to be able to tell your friend, hey, you're being fucking stupid. And you, as the friend that's being fucking stupid, needs to listen to your friend and realize you're being fucking stupid. Now, now, obviously, if your friend is trying to, you know, lie to you or whatever, then then they're not really your friend. But you know what? That's a whole other, that's a whole other conversation. It's a whole other conversation. But basically, my, just, my point here is that just be careful with who you raid with is all. I'm like, but if the party's not dying and we're not having issues and no one's communicating that there are issues, then why? Why are we looking at this for, for you know, um, if, if, if there are issues being communicated, then yeah, people need to step up and start improving things, but issues were never communicated. And then it, it just feels awful for, it's for me, like both for me to be in the, the position where I am the one who's experiencing that and to be in the position where I am the, the bystander and there are people who are being trialed or people who are in the static who are getting replaced because of their logs, because of the things that have been examined in their logs.
and and that's like okay, I just want to take a breath here and that's like take a breath where I wanna, you know lead into this on is the the Final Fantasy 14 end game rating experience that I've had in this game as I said I, I'm, a, I'm a fairly new player I started rating an Endwalker and to join a static like this because in Dragon Song and in Savage I, I did statics with friends who I knew from you know from when I was going through MSQ I met these people they were friends and I had only good experiences you know you, you raid with friends no one's like upset you make mistakes you talk about them you improve you, you learn and this then guy is making it so he won't get invited for a raid group and then I went in PF and so I in PF a bunch this and it was guy? fun I had a good time but this I don't know based on this video I mean I'd raid with this guy I mean, everything this person's saying, they're looking at logs, they're trying to communicate, they're, I mean, every, I mean, I'm not seeing any red flags. I mean, there might be. I mean, I'm not going to automatically jump to, yes, I'll raid with him, you know? I mean, no. I, I mean, I would have to, like, you know, play with him for a little bit, you know, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously, I don't know, like, you know, the behind, you know, closed door shit, like, you know, the DMs and stuff and all that. All the things that they're looking for make sense to me to join this hardcore static and then have this experience where we are spending three weeks replacing members and then eventually I get replaced over something so silly as this so man silly. he like, dodged a bullet no issues up until this point in the fight you know they okay see so before he continues I, I want to say two things one top doesn't even start until p5 unless you do the simulator or have like auto markers unless you use technology when you get to p5 you can double your amount of pulls, and that's when you'll get past P5. Let's say it takes you a thousand pulls to get to P5. Well, unless you use technology, then you will be on P5 for another thousand pulls before you get to P6 on average. Secondly, it sounds to me like this motherfucker dodged a bullet. Basically, P6 is a mid fight. Like your healers have to be on it. Your tanks have to be on it. Even your DPS, they have to use their faint. They have to use their addle. So if you have a healer that is healing like this, you're going to die in P6 because they're not healing correctly. It doesn't sound like that they're mad they got kicked. It just sounds like that they feel betrayed. They thought they were right and then they had people tell them they were wrong and like lie to them and then they found out that they were right and now they feel betrayed i mean i don't know i'm just guessing because just getting kicked from a group like you're still gonna take that experience like even though you get removed from a group or whatever right it's not like that's wasted time you still have that time like you still know p1 p2 you know you still you still have all that experience so like when you look for another group you can skip all that bullshit you know what i mean so it's not like the time was necessarily necessarily wasted i feel like that maybe this person they're not necessarily pissed that they got kicked from i mean maybe like right now maybe a little bit but i feel like that it's more about the the line or like the betrayal feeling i guess i don't know i'm just trying to put myself in their shoes i mean i don't know that i have no idea who this person is so maybe that's not it at all but i'm just trying to put myself in their shoes and if i was them that's probably dude i fucking hate it when people lie to me man they did not kick me because of consistency or anything they kicked me because like my co-healer was, was, did not want to heal with me. They did not want to communicate with me. And it just feels awful, you know? It just, like... And not just me getting kicked, but then the experience on the other side to see all these other people who are getting kicked from the aesthetic. It feels awful to raid in this game at the high level and to have, like, people permanently getting replaced. Makes me not want to ever join one of these aesthetics. I never want to, to raid with, with one of these, these, these groups. I just only want to raid with... So... First off, man, this is just one experience. So hopefully this doesn't sour the whole experience for this person because this is just one group and apparently it's kind of a shitty group. So hopefully this doesn't, you know, sour the whole experience, okay? Because it does happen sometimes. With friends, you know? Like how oh, there's another reason too. Yeah, like if you're in a group and there's a revolving door of members, that's not a good sign. If you're in a group and you replace 10 people in two weeks, I think you should get the fuck out of that group. Okay. <laughs> That's my opinion. That's my opinion. Okay. If, if you replace 10 people in two weeks, bro, that's insane that you replace 10 people, dude. When I've recruited for groups, I can't even find 10 people to trial for the group in two weeks. Okay, how the fuck did you find at least 10 people to trial and replace them? What the fuck? That's insane. That's a speed running for replacements. Dude, all the replacements should have got together and made a group. They would have had two ninth men. How is this? Like, this should not be the way the game is. Like people, it feels awful. That's all I can say. Um, 
It makes me not want to raid. It makes me not want to play the game. Oh, that's bad, to man. Raid with these these people. And to experience this. Um, well, hopefully this person. I feel like I'm the one who, 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 who's. I feel like I'm the one who, who, who's causing problems. Have people who have been experienced tell me that I am the one who is, who's, who's causing problems. Um, when I know otherwise. When I communicate with healers who I know who tell me otherwise. And, and yeah, it just feel, feels awful. Um, I mean, it's at P5, right? They're at P5, so. I mean, I love this game. I love playing the game. I, I love uh, Hell yeah. doing the MSQ. The MSQ is great. I love raiding. Raids in this game are great. They're, they're some of the best content in the game. Hell yeah, it they're, is some the of the best content, content like that I've play, that I played. You know, in, in multiple, multiple games. games. Um, and I love raiding with other people who I actually enjoy raiding with, like good people who I met. And you know, I hope I can continue to raid with good players who I've met and make friends in this game. It just feels awful when you when you raid with. Um, Players who are who start to go into your, your logs and analyze your every GCD and your every ability cast. That should not be the way this game is played. This game. See, I know you guys are trying to give played. this this person shit about like being like upset and, and stuff, but man, like, dude, that's top, man. <laughs> top is not a fun fight, guys. It's not the best experience. Like DSR was a much more fun experience, and hopefully they go back to that formula or like a UCOB type formula or some shit like that, man. I don't know, man. But this fight is mentally exhausting. Okay, it is horrible. It is so stressful. I mean, it was the hardest fight I've ever done. This was the hardest prog I've ever done. And when you spend this amount of time in this hard of a fight, and it's so stressful, on top of the fight itself, you also have like the group is, that's why like, man, when you're in a group, when you're in a top static, man, it is so important to just like support each other because dude, the fight is already hard enough. And the last thing you need as a person is <laughs> to worry about not only the fight, but also the members of the group. It's just, if you are progging this fight that you have no idea how hard like guys like look man a lot of people said a lot of people said on my youtube comments that i was crying and how i wanted to you know easier or how i wanted harder fights and i finally got it and okay well first off motherfucker i never said that i never one time said i wanted a harder fight i said i didn't want any fight harder than dsr so whoever the fuck said that that i said that is just wrong Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing is, okay, I'm just going to be blunt. I've already cleared the fight. I don't give a shit. I just did a re-clear today. It's you. It's your, you are the motherfuckers that are going to be experiencing this and they're going to be being drugged through the shitter. I've already cleared. What the fuck do I care? <laughs> that's fine. You want to say I'm crying? That's fine. I already got my clear. So fuck you. <laughs> you want to see elitism? I've already cleared, bro. <laughs> I just got combined rank one with my co-tank. I don't, dude. I could never clear again and it would be fine. I'm saying this for you. I'm on your side. And you're saying I'm crying? What the fuck? I'm on your side, motherfucker. In a way where people can learn and improve and talk to each other. Not where in a, in a way where you feel like a... Like you feel attacked. Where you, where you feel like you are not... Are, being questioned about every move you're making in the fight, every GCD, everything, especially for healers. I feel like DPS don't get this as much, you know? Um, DPS and tanks, like, no one really goes into their logs. Like, I'm sure sometimes it happens, but especially for healers, it feels like, as a healer, there's so much, you know, that people look at your, your stuff, even when there are no healing issues. Like, this clip that I told, I, I was just playing, we did not die to healing issues. We, we died to the mechanic being... Um, executed wrong. We died to the tether. You don't know what the melon is. And I was getting I'll doomed. tell you after this. We did not die to healing issues, but the healing issues, the, the healing conversation exacerbated from, like, maybe it was my fault. Maybe I communicated wrong by trying to ask the, my, my co-healer to have more mana there, to, to stop GCD healing, to have fewer GCD heals, to, to stop draining their entire mana pool. You know? I mean, maybe, maybe I was wrong anyway. I don't want to get back into this. Um, I, don't, I don't want to keep going and going, but... My, oh, my, my point is that... The, uh, like the elite communicate community feels like there's so much that goes into to, like examining the logs and, and it feels awful it really does and that's why not does he sound on the edge of guys them. guys it's yo a learning experience yo okay stop giving this guy shit for sounding like he's about to cry like shut the fuck up stop it if you're giving this guy shit you're a fucking pussy that's small dick energy this person is apparently upset it's okay to be upset like it's okay to cry
Yes, it is. Like, oh, I mean, not all the time. Well, I mean, I mean, I don't cry all the time. But like, yes, if, if you put a lot of... Guys, you have to think about this, man. You don't know how much effort this person put into the fucking group. You don't know how many... Okay, so okay, so let me get this straight. You're, you're fucking telling me right now that if you put a, a thousand plus pulls into a fight and then all of a sudden you got kicked and gaslit, you wouldn't be a little upset? You wouldn't be, it just depends on what type of person you are, okay? This person, they're more sad or depressed. Me, I would be more angry, okay? It's the same shit, just a different direction. Call him a pussy for crying, call me an idiot for being mad. Why is he yelling, you know? It's the same shit, it's just, dude, when you put in a lot of effort into something, it's okay to be emotionally upset. That's all I'm saying. New rant, new rant, I lost this rant, man, shut the, man, shut the f ...for people and they should grow together and then clear the fights and have fun. And unfortunately, some stomachs are just not like that. And, and I don't know, it just feels awful to experience that. And I just wanted to share also, my experience. Also, guys, you have to remember, this, pers this person literally said at the beginning of the video that they are new to hardcore raiding. They don't know any better. Like, they don't know how, like, clicky some, some groups are. You know what I'm saying? It's like, basically, this person was playing in a bubble, and now they... You know that meme of that blob, right? It's like, the blob's in the box, and he's like, I'm so happy. I love it here. And then... I'm gonna go explore outside. He opens the box. He comes out in a fist, just punches him in the face. And the blob is like, goes back in the box and says, I like it here. You know what I mean? Experience. Um, yeah. So anyway, I guess I'll, I'll end off there. Um, well, hopefully this, hopefully this person doesn't stop rating or anything. If, if any of you see me around, feel free to chat. I'm always open to, to hanging out, chatting. You know, I hang out in uh, Ferry in Charlene. And yeah, thanks for listening to my rant, you know, about... about New to this. hardcore rating, yet he is third stage world on DSR. And I'll head out. Thank you. And that's why, heal, that's why healers are such a Bye. shortage in this game, dude. Nobody fucking heals, man. Nobody wants to deal with that shit. What are some of the comments? I don't think I've met a single person who has enjoyed healing with dice. So you guys said this guy was like infamously or like infamous for being like, I don't know, bad or something. General rule of thumb is to just stay away from streamers. Statics. Almost all of them are toxic and have an echo chamber. Uh, that's not, that's not true. Almost all of them. I don't think so at all. I'm not. Arthur's isn't. Todd isn't. Happy's isn't. I've co-healed with that healer before. Honestly, just a nightmare of a person. You're better off without the nastiness they're going to bring into your life. Hasn't written jump like five different... Dude, dude, yo, you know what, man? It's funny. It's funny that this person commented this, man. I thought he was going to raid with Zeph, and that didn't happen. I thought he was going to raid with Miztech. That didn't happen. I thought he was going to raid with my friend Darwin. That didn't happen. Has, has Rin just been PFing? I mean, I don't really care that much, but it's just like every time, for some reason, I keep hearing that he's like in a different group. I've never seen a person like go between that many groups for one single fight, man. It's insane. I told you guys, this fight is hard. I've watched Rin stream right now and DICE was not doing that shit on P5. So I think one, they flamed him and he stopped griefing or two, he was spending that mana on purpose. So he has some reason how to get rid of the wave guy. Cringe and weird. I mean, obviously some shit went down, right? Like obviously some shit happened because the person made a video. You know, I'm not like picking sides. I'm not choosing sides, man. I don't believe anything online, man. For a healer who cares so much about logs, they have a suspicious lack of healer log kills in DSR. Trying to talk about optimal healer play style in a current ult. The dice person got piloted in DSR. Oh, I know. Piloted? Hmm. Okay, DICE is well known in the community for their toxicity. I'm actually shocked they haven't been permabanned yet. I've never had an issue with them, but I know of them and have witnessed their behavior live. Karma finally caught up to them, I guess, but they're definitely someone to be on the lookout for when it comes to co-healing. I've also had an unfortunate experience of running to DICE. Yo, is DICE on the dodge list, dude? Um, Wait, read Rin's comment. Okay, someone linked me. What is this? Hey man, I don't know what reason Peter gave you for their choice, but my stance was to keep you and for you and Dice to work out your healer differences, okay? I'm not healing the fight, so I had no horse in the race. I think a lot of the team just wanted you to stop raising your voice at us and shutting down what we had to say. See, that's one of those things where we don't know if it's a if it's tr if it's true or a lie, you know? I mean, on both sides, right? Like we don't know if the guy that made the or the person that made the video is is telling the truth or if, if Red's telling the truth. I've definitely been in those shoes, being the one who's been a big asshole 
people without thinking I was until looking back at things later so I can see both sides of it. Don't think it actually had anything at all to do with healing. People just wanted you to stop getting angry with them. But if you were given a different reason than that, just know the lead didn't speak for all of us. It just doesn't seem like he would get mad, but but that's one of those things, right, where we don't know, right? So maybe that's what I'm saying. Maybe in the video he was nice, but in the group he was he was an asshole. You know, we don't you know we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Great response you to embed your comment into your Twitch channel. Imagine watching a video of a man expressing concerns with how he feels like he was gaslit and believing he was wrong. Then comment on the same video, gaslighting him into thinking he was wrong. Uh, I'm not the leader of the group or anything. I stood up for wave. I'm not the Ray leader. I don't know why everyone thinks I am. I joined them as a tank a few weeks into Prague. I as a lead, I vouch for wave. Like I know people are trying to shit on Rin here, but like they don't, I mean, they don't know. I'm not saying I believe this, but I'm just saying that like, I feel like you know, people are still thinking about the, the embedded incident. I'm just speaking from my experience, okay? Like these people, they might know more than me. The only reason why I'm talking about this is because I have over 2K viewers and all you motherfuckers got suckered in here or watching ads, fucking idiots. <laughs> you so stupid. <laughs> 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 fucking idiots, bro. <laughs>